Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm working on a series of videos uh, of rebuilding a Holley one barrel 1904 carburetor. And we're to the point now where I'm going to finish the carburetor up, I hope, in this video. I think I got about everything. Um, anyway, uh, so we're going to start with the needle and seat. You can see what we have together here so far. Uh, refer to the uh, last video if uh, if you missed that part. Anyhow, we're going to put the needle and seat. And first, we have this uh, <clears throat> we have to put this spring on here. I don't even know if you can see it. There's so little. I got to try and do this without losing it all. Okay, the one end of the spring goes into one holder on that end. Okay, I'll find my little holder go on the other end, whatever you call these things, little clips. There we go. Now this is an improvement they made uh, through the years. I noticed the old one didn't have one on it. What this is for is just helps to keep for the uh, uh, from keep um, eliminate or help eliminate float bounce. So if you're going on a rough road, the float isn't bouncing up and down. Hold, the spring will help that out. That's what it's for. All right. So okay. Um, Put a little clip here on the uh, needle. Put it on the float like that. It goes in there like that. I put. It seems easier for me to put this together uh, before I put it in the carburetor float bowl. Okay, so now I got the pin on it. So there we go. That's what it looks like. Now I'm putting this uh, um, uh, What do you call these? Well, anyway, I'm putting this up. Uh, it's not plastic. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just tongue-tied this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> I like the uh, brass better. Of course, they don't make either one anymore. But uh, what I'll probably do is I'll just do for the video. I'm going to do this and I hopefully I'm going to scrounge up another brass float to put in here. Because these, uh, nit they're nitrophil, that's what's called, uh, these tend to absorb fuel over a uh, period of time. So, although this one looks pretty darn good, maybe I'll, maybe I'll test on the engine and see what happens. But at any rate, okay, so I got it together. Now you see what, when I uh, the float moves, how it pulls, pulls the needle out, which is kind of important these days because... Uh, your uh, varnish and whatnot, the, the gas is so lousy that it doesn't take much to varnish these up and and they get stuck. But at any rate, there we go. Uh, okay, so it's going to go in here like this. And what we have to do here, it doesn't take more than two hands, but uh, you got to hold your tongue right. Okay. What I do with the screw, I just had the stupid thing here. There it is. Okay. You got two washers. You got a, one that's bigger than the other. Um, the big one goes inside on this side. Okay. The other one goes on the uh, bolt that's going to go in there. That goes there. And what I do is I uh, go ahead and slide that in there. I get ready with my screwdriver over here. And I'll put this washer on this side of it. Kind of hold it together there. And uh, then we'll put this up against it.
and I like to I like to tighten it snug and I, I loosen it tighten it loosen it kind of make sure those uh, copper washers are, are seated good okay so to repeat you had two washers to come with the the needle and seat assembly the big one goes right here between the seat and the uh, casting the small one goes on that screw or bolt whatever you want to call it that goes in this side so there you go now you turn the float bolt or yeah turn the carburetor upside down and just make this float level just make it make it level you're good to go that's all you have to do that's upside down so when as it fills up with fuel obviously when it gets level it's going to shut off the fuel okay push that in uh, all right so get our gasket on here I like these little black nitrate gaskets they uh, um, seem to seal I, I use the cork and I don't like those so much these things get warped and beat on so much um, you have to mess with them sometimes to get them not to leak uh, a lot of times I'll take these when they've been bent or beat on I'll take put this in a vise and try to get this as flat as I can I might hit this with the hammer and uh, and try to bend them back just a little bit without breaking the things all right and I like to put new screws in these also makes it look good I have what's called a premium kit on these 1904s and, and the premium kit will come with new screws Now I just snug these down. Don't over tighten them. That's what messes them up. And when I test it, I might have a little bit of a fuel leak coming out, and that, at that point, I might tighten them up a little bit. There we go. That looks good. All right, so we're going to put the actuator on. And what the actuator does, it uh, it's going to connect to uh, this linkage right here, like so. And what it's going to do, it uh, it's going to uh, work the accelerator pump which I have to hold out a little bit to get this on. Here we go. So now you can see it as I work the accelerator. See how it's run the, running the pump? Okay. Be careful of this plastic because uh, they're impossible to find. If you break it, it's toast. You'll have to get one made. Every once in a while I get one. Uh, I use one or something, but uh, you won't, they don't make new ones. They haven't for quite a long time. All right, so I'm going to have to find my clip. Uh, there's a little C-clip that goes on right here. Uh, no big deal. And uh, the other thing is we got to put the, the uh, mixture screw on it. Okay, one last thing is uh, we got to put this on it. Uh, be sure you use the right screw. This one has a hole in it here and a hole in there so the fuel will travel through it. And let's see, it goes uh, this way. You got a small gasket, which will be in your kit, goes underneath it like this. And it goes right here. Now this is when you push the accelerator pump, or when the accelerator pump's uh, pumping, this is where the fuel is going to come out of, right here. So if you look down in here and you pump this, uh, you'll get a nice uh, good squirt going out of it. 
Let's see here. Something's wrong. Oh, that was right. That was right. It didn't look right, but that's the way it goes. The holes on the bottom, that's where it's got to be. You don't want it on top, it'll squirt it up. Okay. And that's it. And you got your 1904 together. Not too hard, just remember to do the things I told you and you'll have her made. Uh, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, go visit my website and uh, get a kit. Thank you.